Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're gonna look at a whole bunch of minifigures. Specifically, we're gonna check out these amazing slime variant additions that are exclusive to the minifigure militia. Now, what is the minifigure militia, you might be asking? Well, this is actually a pretty rad Facebook group that is solely dedicated to collectors of minifigures. You know what I'm talking about. The little guys like Muscle or Monster in My Pocket and all of those similar lines like OMFG. Now I've talked about OMFG on my channel plenty of times. It's been a while, but I've definitely taken a look at many of the outlandish minifigure guys on here in the past. Uh, these were, of course, uh, produced by uh, October Toys back in the day. George Gaspar, of course, uh, sculpted many of these, but they were really cool because they were like fan-designed characters that were brought to life in minifigure form. Well, these designs still live on today, which is amazing with all these colorways here. And we've got these great slime ones from the awesome folks over at the Minifigure Militia. What's up, Mario? Shout out, buddy. <laughs> so I thought I'd go ahead and just open these up and really show these off for you guys in case you are a fellow mini figure collector. Maybe you'll wanna check out the mini figure militia or check out some of these very cool exclusive sets. So one by one, I'm gonna go ahead and open up these bags and we'll take a look at the figures within. Uh, all of them have their own unique uh, header card art, which is fantastic. And on the back, you can see several of the uh, sponsors basically that came together to make these exclusive sets happen, uh, which is very, very cool. Uh, O'Neill Design, Double G Toys is on there. Um, and then all of the uh, figures, uh, the designers and the sculptors are listed on the back of the card as well, which is really, really fantastic stuff. So this set here has got a great little selection. Let's go ahead and open them up and check them out. So of course, since these are slime edition figures, they are done in this beautiful translucent green plastic. You know I love me some slime stuff, so these look really great. Uh, this character here is Tree Witched. Um, and in case you're wondering, like you can see it in my fingers, but these figures are about in the two inch um, height. So all of these are gonna be that two inch high, non-articulated, solid colors, very similar to things like I stated, Muscle and Monster in My Pocket. Um, Monster in My Pocket is something you can really relate these to, uh, just because they're all monster-like characters. I love this, so he's a tree character. Look at the little tree house up there on the top. Just a very, very cool looking character. We got Brainwave here. I've always been a big fan of this. I mean, he's basically just a large brain with arms and legs. I love the little spinal cord coming down the back like a tail. He's got little antenna up here at the top. He's also wearing glasses. I love the teeth on the front. Uh, again, really fantastic design. Looks awesome in that slime green. Oh, Fossil Freak. Now this is a creepy looking, I guess he's like a, partial dinosaur decaying kind of thing going on here. I mean, look at that. He's got exposed spinal cord coming down on the tail. His left arm is all bones. His right arm looks like it's actually got the flesh and everything on it. He's almost got a triceratops styled head or a ceratopsian of some sort there, but it's all broken and everything. Man, this dude is wicked. I mean, this is a fantastic name because it's exactly what he is. He's an eye with bull horns and bull hooves and a tail. And that looks really awesome in that green plastic. This is the Siren, and this is another one I've always really, really loved. In fact, this one really gives off that monster in my pocket uh, kind of vibe there. So you can see she's kind of like a mermaid type character, uh, but she's huge. She's holding like a ship in her hand. Man, she is just fantastic. And again, this looks great in the translucent green. Uh, of course, the green works great with the fin and everything there, but um, I've always just really been a fan of this one. I think it's a great detailed sculpt. And Wooly Wisp is the last one in this particular bag right here. Just a very furry, furry character there. I love it. He does have these like round little kind of like bug eyes there, but just really fantastic stuff. All right, our second bag of exclusive Uzarian edition minifigures. Uh, just has a nice green drippy slime look on the header card there. And again, we've got all of the information on the back. Really nice stuff. Let's rip this bag open. So these go all the way back to the very first series of OMFG figures, which feels like such a long time ago now, but these designs are fantastic. They totally hold up. This is one of my all time favorites right here. This is Phantom Outhouse. <laughs> And it works so great with the green because of the drippiness of it. But yeah, he's totally an outhouse that's, you know, coming alive. You can use your imagination for what's making the uh, the feet and the arms there. But ugh, I love this. Such a great design. 
King Castor. He's got this really great kind of castle tower design going on here, which is wonderful. Uh, I love how this arm over here has got like the little spire on top of the tower and everything. Uh, you got kind of like this gripping fist over here and everything. Really, really cool stuff. Oh yeah, it's Multi Skull. Again, another one of my favorites. Who doesn't love a guy who is just made up of a whole bunch of skulls? I mean, look at that. His body is one big skull, and then he's just covered with tiny little skulls making up his arms and his legs and his head. Uh, again, the details on these are fantastic. When you really get in there and look, uh, they're made of that translucent green plastic, but man, that doesn't take away at all from all of the fantastic details in these sculpts. I love this guy. The Crawdad Kid, I love this one too. I love all these, I'm gonna say that a lot, just so you know, all the way through. But again, this is another classic OMFG design done in that great translucent green plastic. We end things off with the Stroll, which is just this amazing little troll character, the one-eyed troll there, the horns, looking really, really sweet in that translucent drippy green. So this next batch of Uzarian edition is some of the Series 2 OMFG figures. The header art on this one is awesome. It's definitely got some TMNT vibes going on with that kind of brick wall with all the bright colors kind of graffitied on there. Uh, I love all of these great little nods here for the, like, we got like the, uh, uh, the OMFG logo up there. There's Pugnacious up there. There's some real fun stuff going on on the designs. Uh, and again, the back's got all of that information for all these characters. Let's check these out. All right, we've got Shirtle. This dude's adorable. I mean, he's like a shark turtle. Like, look, he's got like a turtle shell kind of thing going on with the shark fin. He's wearing this little shirt that doesn't quite fit his belly. He's adorable. <laughs> Oh, the baby deadbeat. Ah, I've always loved this. I've actually got several of the baby deadbeats in various colors in my collection. Very happy to add the Uzarian green one. Cryborg is fantastic because it's like a cyborg baby. Look at this. I mean, you got this crazy little wires and everything going on in the back of the head. You can see kind of like the uh, cybernetic parts on the eye there. He looks uh, like he is seriously unhappy, which is probably not good considering he's part baby, part cyborg. <laughs> Another epic design. This one's great for Halloween right there. It's the Grim Gourd. Gotta love a jack-o'-lantern sculpt. Again, this is another one that feels very monster in my pocket-ish. I love it. This is Puke Knight, and he has always been one of my favorites because of the puke. Look, so this actually attaches to this knight, and it makes it look like he's puking up this little puke monster thing. I mean, look at that. He's got his own face. He looks like he's standing on his hands. There's two separate pieces. How awesome is this guy? And that works so great with the translucent green, obviously, for the puke there. And if you've got any of the other puke knights in your collection, you can always mix and match those parts for various colors. I love him. He's so great. Blah. And then there's Cuddle Hard, which was the OMFG logo come to life with robotic arms and legs, now in the Uzarian green color. OMFG Series 3 is in this particular minifigure militia Uzarian collection there. You can see all of our information on the back. We're going to rip this open. And there he is, Pugnacious, designed by Bill McKay, who is sort of like the leader of the mini minifigure militia. <laughs> uh, he's, seriously, he's uh, the guy that hooked me up with all of these for this particular video. And this is the character he designed. And of course, fantastic design, just like all of these. I love it. Barbarian Knot is another one that I've always loved because he totally speaks to me. He's a barbarian astronaut. Right? So he's totally kind of got those He-Man type influences with the battle axe and the shield on his wrist and the furry loincloth. But of course, he's also an astronaut character. I love it. Such a great design there. This is Ten Can. He's a trash can with tentacles. <laughs> so look, there's some sort of thing living inside. Look, he's got that eyeball, very Dianaga-like, right, from Star Wars. And the, got the tentacles kind of busting out there. I love the little peg leg here on the bottom. He's got like a boot and a peg leg, but just a really great design. I love it. Dr. Decay looks very much like he's decaying. He's almost got like this mushroom type theme going on there too, uh, but I love him. He's, he's you know, kind of like some skin and bones. Looks like things are just kind of falling off of him, like it's pooling up around his feet. Ugh, gross. Totally works with the Uzarian green colorway. Fruit Punch. 
is just such a clever design. Look, it even says fruit punch right there. Angry little face, boxing gloves, looks like a classic juke, uh, juice box. Not a juke box, a juice box. He's fruit punch. I love him. And there's the zombie Faden. Of course, Faden from Onel Designs, the Glio system kind of mascot character, but done as a zombie. Really cool seeing him in this green colorway. And we can't forget about the mortals. They got in on the green colorway as well. This has got a great uh, evil horde kind of look to it with a slime pit kind of type of font there. So it's a slime pit mortals, which is really cool. Of course, the mortals originally appeared in a toy line uh, called Rocks and Bugs and Things, but they've since gotten new life in the minifigure kind of realm there. Um, you can see all the same companies came together here for the mortals, which is very cool. Um, and look, each of these guys has their own little name, which is amazing. Uh, let's rip this open though and get a closer look at them. Oh, these little weirdos are so great. And man, the colors look so great because uh, these guys have a little bit of paint on them, unlike the other ones we were looking at, where the teeth and the eyes are like this blood red uh, on the translucent green. And the backs even have the minifigure militia logo, which is so cool. And of course, every single one of the mortals is different. You know, they got a different design. Like, you know, some of them have like the long legs there, like this guy. And then you got like the short stubby legs. This right here, he's kind of like classic, classic mortal right there. But these are awesome, man. I really love like that wretched, like bright red of the teeth and the eyes. They just look so fantastic. And our one outlier here is the only one that's not slime green. This is Fossil Freak in the Dino DNA edition. So he's like this bright, bright pink color. First of all, the artwork is fantastic of Fossil Freak. We looked at him a little bit ago in that translucent green color, but why don't we go ahead and rip this bag open. Look at that. Get that opened up there and then we could uh, see what he looks like in this more bright pink colorway there. Actually, you can see some of the sculpted details a little better when they're not translucent, but it's just another version of Fossil Freak uh, done in this bright pink Dino DNA edition, which is so very cool here. Here's both versions together. So we got our green one and our pink one. Man, these guys are so rad. So there you go, my friends. There is a look at this amazing selection of Uzarian Edition minifigures exclusive to the minifigure militia. Uh, if you're a minis collector and you've never seen the OMFG figures before, uh, hopefully I've turned you onto these. If you didn't realize that there were these exclusive versions and you do collect them, well, hopefully, again, I've informed you guys. You should definitely check out the Minifigure Militia over on Facebook. I'm gonna link to that in the video description and I'm also going to link to their Store Envy shop so that you can pick up any of these that are still left in stock if you wanna add them to your own collection. Once again, I gotta give a very special thanks to the folks over at the minifigure militia. Uh, I've been a member of that group for years on Facebook. I always love browsing the images on there. So it's really cool stuff. Again, if you guys enjoy minifigures, it's definitely a place to check out. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time.